Bitcoin just had an insane move today. And if that sounds interesting to you, make sure to continue watching this video. Hey guys, Pinky Charge here. Welcome back to another Bitcoin analysis. As always, if you do enjoy my content, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. As you guys can see on Bitcoin, we did get that break below to the 18.8 level. I mentioned that that support level will probably not hold as right over at 19.5 when we started to reject. Now you can see that we did see a huge move on Bitcoin, but we didn't quite break to that 18.2 level and we didn't quite hit that at 17.9. Obviously, we did have some news event today, so that obviously did cause quite a bit of manipulation, but you can see that we did get a nice wick all the way down but i was still hoping to get that retest of 17.9 to enter a long position that would be the ideal zone to actually enter a long position or even a quick wick to 17.6 for a good confirmation as of right now i still think this is going to be a fake out right you can see that we did have a move we had a quick fake out right back to that resistance of a 19.5 and now we are currently rejecting this level now for this fake out to be unconfirmed obviously we would have to see a break above that 19.5 find a consolidation and then a move to the 20 point seven level if we can see that that would be a short-term bullish move on bitcoin does this mean that the bottom is in not at all this simply just means that we did just get manipulated going both ways we saw this consolidation over the few days hoping for that news on cpi data we got that news we saw the move and then we saw a huge wick all the way up trapping a lot of shorting positions that were hoping for that 17.9 to 17.6 got a lot of shorts in there got them liquidated extremely fast this candlestick right here was the liquidation candle for a lot of people because you can see that this was a short squeeze as soon as we hit we immediately on the hourly which i'll show you guys in a second were bought right back up causing a a lot of manipulation and causing a lot of stops to be hit now we are resisting at 19.5 this would be a good level to be looking for another shorting opportunity possibility but again throughout the night we will see a possible move to the upside so we want to be careful right you don't want to be entering a position until you get that confirmation and ideally that confirmation would have been once we broke this 18.8 level found it as support that was a good idea to go for a long position now i'll show you guys on the hourly what pretty much happened on bitcoin you can see that this was a candlestick that i was talking about right you can see that we broke that support level had that retest confirmation a lot of people started entering short positions down here hoping that we would get that 17.9 retest we had the small little liquidation right over here and then the massive move causing a lot of stop losses to be hit this hourly candle was massive you can see that we are now continuing for pushing further now you guys already know looking from this pattern what's going to happen next right we have already mentioned that when you have these sort of moves to the upside with no portal backs these are usually barting formations ideally you want to see a bart formation on the four hour so whether or not we're being making that right now now we're gonna have to see if we can get that bar formation basically just continue pushing up and up and up and then consolidating we would have a massive move probably retesting at 17.9 to 17.6 that would be an ideal position for bitcoin to actually play that so something like this hitting that 21.6 max finding that consolidation and then the move to the downside now, from a bullish case scenario for Bitcoin, if we continue moving above that 19.5 and finding that consolidation, the next levels we have to pay attention to are going to be the 20.7. That 20.7 level has been very important for Bitcoin. Usually, when we see a break above, we see a huge move. And when we see a break below, we usually get a massive consolidation to the downside. So that's an ideal position you want to be kind of focusing on throughout the weekend. If we do see a test of that 20.7 or a manipulation all the way up, and you start to see that rejection panel enter a shorting position safely, obviously with risk management, and be looking for that shorting opportunity ideally a three test on that resistance would be confirmation for us to actually head back down to the 17.9 level but you guys already know i don't usually trade on weekends so just kind of be wary about that when we're trading upwards that's pretty much all i have for you guys today as always if you do enjoy my content make sure to hit the like and subscribe button and i hope you guys have a wonderful day